It is finally time to get out on the road again. It's been a poor summer with a lot of bad weather and the season has not been that great for me. Me and my good friend Matthias has been invited to an adventure festival in Latvia and in this video you will follow me as I ride through some spectacular roads in Norway and Sweden before I meet up with Matthias in the southern parts of Sweden and take the ferry over to Latvia. I've always been a fan of riding alone. Being a solo rider has a lot of upsides and let you enjoy more of the trip on your own terms. But this adventure has wakened something in me, something deep in my core, and I really liked it. Hmm. Hmm. Du sa du filmer. Hva? 
Plus att det filmar. Good morning. Oh. Mm. A couple of more minutes. Still early. And the damn traffic goes by. That was Robin, a guy I met in Sweden at the Moscow meetup we had in early May. Uh, yeah, it always amazed me who you end up meeting at the side of the road. Today I'm here outside Övre Ordal. I don't have too many plans this time around. I'm gonna, the only thing I know for sure is I'm gonna meet up with Matthias in one week from now. We're gonna take the ferry over to Latvia. We're gonna attend the Outdoor Scout event. So I'm just gonna continue my trip, enjoying the road, see some places I've never been to before. I really hope to have a nice holiday before the event starts. <laughs> yeah. of these roads I really want to explore but they're all behind locked gates and it's uh, private owned so yeah I just have to return but it's really nice
Petro's first sip every morning. Oh, you can't beat that. There's a woodpecker here behind some branches, but yeah. Anyway, I'm here at Grimsby. The weather was supposed to be nice, but as you can see, it's fogged down. <laughs> it is often like this in Norway when uh, the fall sets in because you have uh, really high fluctuating temperatures. Yesterday I met up with two guys from Sweden who uh, was in a cabin here. Don't shoot me if I get their names uh, incorrect. I'm terrible uh, with names. Daniel and Johan, I think it was. And there is a guy here who uh, runs sleds with dogs. So he, uh, when the dogs wake up, they are just insane. They're just so eager to get on the road. So they were barking all over the place and uh, waking up everyone. <laughs> But then it went going, and now it's completely silence again. Now I'm just gonna finish up my coffee. I'm gonna hope that some of my gear dries up a little bit before I put everything on the bike and get going. I just passed a sign where it said Jotul Hogge. Easy to translate to English is Jotul Chop. I'm not sure, but it's quite impressive. I've never been to these parts uh, before, or I just ride past it earlier. It was just a small sign uh, at the side of the road. So I was just lucky to see it. I have to admit, it's quite an impressive view. You know that feeling when you're on the top of a high place like this, that sudden urge to jump, I don't get that. I found this 
really nice wind sheltered place right over the border there is wind but there was so insane amount of mosquitoes yesterday it was just set up my hammock and just dive into it and stay there oh it was absolutely horrible the joy of wild camping <laughs> just outside Mora now and uh, I'm trying to search in uh, on Google to see if the factory for Mora knives is open but it's not and it's not allowed to take visitors from uh, what I can read on the comments uh, on Google reviews they refer to the concept store inside Mora town today it's Sunday so everything is closed same as in Norway so there's only one place open, and that is an outlet store for Mora knives, just outside Mora. So I think I'm gonna visit them and see if um, they're able to spot uh, any good knives there, or uh, just to take a look at history. And there's one thing that's painfully obvious when you come to Sweden, and that is it's kind of flat and a lot of forest. <laughs> so you don't go here to see the beautiful views. You kind of go here for one thing only and that is gravel roads and they have a lot of gravel roads. That was a little bit disappointing. The outlet store is just some knives that are um, yeah, too bad in shape to be sold in a regular store and a lot of uh, dollar horses. That was quite interesting as to see how they made them, but uh, that is not of interest of me. I wanted uh, more of the Mora knives. But another reason to get back here and um, visit Mora again, because I really want to go into that uh, concept store.
What a day it's been today. Oh, cheers. I've been searching online for um, wind sh shelters to uh, rest at, but every time I went to a new rest place or a camping site, it was either closed or it was rubbish or full of people. So I spent a lot of hours on that. <laughs> now I'm just here close to uh, its rest place, right outside a town I can't even pronounce. So now I'm just sitting here in my hammock because the mosquitoes are terrorizing me. I'm not sure, I don't think this is normal for the season, but the amount of mosquitoes is just insane. There's so many, every time you stop your bike, it's just bombarding you. It's not that great to camp when the conditions are like that, to be honest, because every time you try to sit out and relax and enjoy the sunset, it's just mosquitoes everywhere. Good thing though is I'm gonna go to sleep early and I'm gonna wake up early and I will continue my trip down south towards um, yeah let's see let's see what tomorrow brings <laughs> That, mo that one moment every morning, just like flashbacks of um, all, all the good memories. It's a little bit nippy this morning and of course it's foggy as well. And there's a slight change of plans. I will continue towards the east coast of uh, Sweden instead of going down south towards uh, Vatten and Vanen. That are areas I've been many times before and I want Stegra to uh, guide me on some uh, proper gravel roads uh, towards there. I get a lot of questions about how I maintain my fitness. I try to do push-ups every morning and uh, every night when I'm out on trips like this. And of course you get a little bit of exercise when you're on the bike as well. Not many think that, but uh, you actually do. You burn a lot of calories and I make sure to drink a lot of water and uh, eat a little bit salty food on the way so I don't get dehydrated. And um, I try to eat as healthy as possible. Yes, I can treat myself with a pizza or something good, but uh, it's all those small details every day that uh, counts in the big picture. So I try to eat healthy every morning and um, at least one or two meals every day will be healthy. And um, I quite enjoy it, actually. I, I enjoy making my own food at camp and uh, yeah, that is actually the easy answer. Just 
might be something that could stick Well, at least I put my money down Cause to me, our love is like an old-fashioned Finest whiskey poured out in our glasses You are something sweet Sip you slow, then repeat You're the habit I thought I could be The old-fashioned love's got a hold on me found out if you search up petrol stations on your Garmin Sumo XT2 it shows the newest price on the gasoline in there as well I never saw that before and that is quite genius to be honest Yeah, so my Italians may hate me for this, but um, I'm so crazy that I actually put pasta in cold water. And when this boils up, I'm gonna cut up some broccoli and some uh, red onion, ham, some pizza cheese, and a little bit of pasto. Okay, this does not look like a TV kitchen, I do understand that, but uh, bear with me. Ooh, Swedish knife, dollar red. I do bet there is a better way to cut onions on, but I don't know about it. I just need some slices, good chunks. Same with this one. And I take a little bit of strimlad shinka, a little bit of ham. Oh, that is nuts. Uh, cheese. Just gonna put the knife. And you cannot have enough cheese. So just put a good amount in it and I'll maybe take some on the top afterwards. When it's been cooking for a while, approximately 10 minutes, taste it. And just before it's done, we put in the broccoli. Almost like Gordon Ramsay. You cheeky... Perfect! And now I'm gonna mix it. And why do I mix it in a cold bowl? Well, because I don't want to burn my hands off when I eat this. So I just gotta stir it. Okay, it was a little bit much. And now... The last, but very important part, pesto. And you put in as much as you like. That looked a little clumsy. One 
thing left to say, and that is bon appetit. Mmm. This is really good. And I almost forgot. Oh. Cheers. Oh. No, oh, delicious. You can't go outside for two minutes before they're all over you. And if you're dumb enough to have a open skin or what you call it, like this, they just... Uh, oh yeah. And they, and they, 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 kind of, they kind of sting at the first uh, landing as well. They doesn't sit and wait, they just sting you. They are really aggressive. Oh, I have so many mosquito bites in my neck and my legs. <laughs> Ah, yeah, well, so this morning I'm gonna sit inside of obvious reason and make a coffee and uh, I will continue my trip further toward the coast. I still got a lot of time before I need to get to the ferry. So I'm gonna continue out towards uh, Östhammar and uh, yeah, that's a little bit north from Stockholm. And uh, yeah, just see how the adventure plans out. I hope there will be a little bit more wind out at the coast and not so much uh, mosquitoes. Yeah, it's much nicer to camp when you can sit outside and enjoy the nice weather. When it is like this, it's not fun at all. It's been a great trip so far. Been riding on some really nice uh, roads and I'm gonna do the same today. I'm gonna just make a route one point to another with Stegra and uh, see where it takes me because I have in this area, I have no clue where to go. Oh, well, this could have been without all the mosquitoes. <laughs>
Schönes. Well, the mosquitoes isn't backing down. <laughs> been a long day on the bike and I'm absolutely sick and tired of the damn mosquitoes. I'm covered in mosquito bites on my legs, on my neck, in my head, my arms, everything. And I just, today I just came to the conclusion I'm not gonna spend one more hour in the forest. Not a chance. So I booked this little uh, hotel apartment thing. Um, uh, at Arlanda, uh, where the airport in Sweden is. Oh, I'm <laughs> scratching my legs. I'm getting desperate. And going into the shower makes it actually worse. Oh. Bacon uh, flavor toothpaste. Let's see if it can be done. This was the only thing I managed to grab from my bike before I went up to this room. So I'm just gonna see if this could be noodles with bacon flavored toothpaste mm -mm, no not gonna happen <clears throat> well i'm gonna have a good night's sleep and tomorrow is a new day and let's see what tomorrow brings next day i decide to sleep in I find myself not enjoying the trip as I should and I decide to take a rest day in Stockholm so I can recharge my mental batteries. I take a trip to the Viking Museum. I like to do something completely different when I have rest days like this. Every morning, that first cup. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, I love the fall when it's colors like this. And uh, every time when it gets autumn, you, I used to think that it's maybe the best part of the year. But I think that is the spring as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because uh, then you have been all winter. You're looking forward to brighter yeah. uh, days. And I think it's quite funny because uh, we all we long for the summer. The actual summer, uh. but then when you're in the spring and the autumn, I think that is, uh, I think it's really great. So, åtta i kväll måste vi checka in. Sådan. Uppgifter till dem direkt. Har du inget passman för Saran? Okay, what seems to be the problem, uh, Tommy? 
Yeah, we discussed uh, how to get on the ferry and we found out that I have forgot my passport. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure, and you need it to get aboard. Yeah. But we have solved it. How? We are going to get a uh, temporary passport. Okay, do you think we manage before we... Definitely. Okay. We will do it. Fortunately, we were talking about it. Men hur tid var det? Håll nio, Nick. Håll tio. Håll tio faktiskt. 21, 30. 21, 30, ja. Ja, så då måste vi checka in klockan åtta. Matthias <laughs> was empty of fuel just 300 meters away from the petrol station and now we have to rush to get to the police station so he can get a new passport so we can get the ferry over to Latvia. So this turns out to be quite an adventure after all. I got it in 18 and a half liters. 18,5? Yeah, it was 20 liters tank. Yeah, there it is a little bit in the other camera. Yeah, it was very interesting that it was so. Samma polis som är här och patrullerar inne på terminalen med <laughs> som kommer. Det var det, Shomi. Du är redo igen. Är vi redo nu? Ja. Do you, do you have any tips for people who forget their passport at home? Yeah, if you remember it in time, you are able to get a temporary one. <laughs> Next morning we arrive early in the land of Arturo. Me and Matthias has been invited to the very first Arturo scout event and are really curious what these guys have in store for us. We don't know much but we got instruction for where to meet and we are greeted by our Norwegian Arturo guy Ole. He leads us to the registration area where we sign in get our goodie bag and are shown where we can camp for the weekend. We get a couple of hours to settle in before the Arduro team welcome all participants. 
give some practical information before they put up the flag to symbolize the event open. These guys don't mess around. We get our first challenge, and that is to figure out where to ride so we can get our bikes over a river to the campground. We had to solve some coordinates, and we had a huge decision to make. Muddy or forest? We quickly understand that this is not a race. This event is all about helping each other and building relationships and making new friends. The first day is all about teamwork, challenges that you can encounter on the trails and some good old activities that spark the competitors in us. Yes, some more than others, but it's all fun and games. And if you are one of the more experienced riders, there are plenty of challenges for you as well. It really impressed me how they managed to balance all the activities between beginner and experienced. They made it fun for everyone. And let's not forget the kitchen. The food and the meals they arranged for us is hands down the best experience I ever had. A good meal is the best team builder in the world. Next morning, start slow with a good cup of coffee and a fantastic breakfast. Today is the main scout event, where everyone is put into groups of two and two riders. This is a navigational treasure hunt, where you want to collect places that present you with different challenges, and each place gives different point values. This will reward you in the end. Some are faster than others, but again, this is no race. The most important part is to work together and finish as a team. <laughs>
We all had a really great time on the trails today. There is so much to share and tell from today's challenges. You can really feel the connection and genuine interest for each other. We gather around the bonfire, share drinks, laughs, crazy stories and just let this whole experience sink in. There is so much more I could tell about this experience, but I guess that is a story for another time. I really want to thank the Outdoor team for this amazing event. Thank you so much for inviting us. I want to thank each and every one of you who was there letting us learn to know you, your culture, love for adventure and how to throw a kick-ass party. I really hope to see you again next year. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So where are your pants, Tommy? <laughs> We're pantless today. <laughs> I don't understand how you got two badges. <laughs> I lifted my bike. I shoot it with a bow. 